If you think planting crops and vegetations in drylands is impossible, well, think again. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here and we are back again with another amazing video for you. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon so that you'll not miss any of our coming videos. According to Wikipedia, drought tolerance is the ability to which a plant maintains its biomass production during arid or drought conditions. Some plants are naturally adapted to dry conditions, surviving with protection mechanisms such as desiccation tolerance, detoxification, or repair of xylem embolism. So in this video, get ready to see 6 events where drought-tolerant plants are used and yielded productive results in dry lands. And since we don't want to waste your time, alright, let's proceed to our number one. Number one is Scientists develop drought tolerant maize. Agricultural production in developing countries is subject to various sources of risk, with weather variability being pervasive one. Such risks discourage farmer investments in productivity-enhancing technologies. Experts warn that climate change is likely to threaten world food supplies as temperature extremes cut harvest of important food crops. Scientists are working to develop new varieties that are adapted to a climate change. Scientists in the southern U.S. state of Texas are readying maize, a vital crop for climate change. Number two is drought tolerant grass boosts milk and meat production. Kenya is expanding cultivation of a relatively new, nutritious, drought resistant forage grass for a cattle that could boost milk production, resulting in higher incomes for families. The grass is already in use in several countries in East Africa. According to researchers, it doubles the milk production. Number 3 is Experts push for use of drought-resistant seeds. The southern Africa region is reeling under the impact of a drought that's left millions in need of food aid. The El Nino-induced drought has highlighted the long-term threat of climate change. Drought-tolerant seeds varieties are seen as the solution to the persistent and impending problems.
Number four is Zambia farmers encouraged to plant drought resistant crops. After a long drought, several countries in southern Africa are enjoying bumper harvests. The Zambian government is building more maize storage facilities and trying to encourage farmers to grow drought-resistant crops such as millet, sorghum, and cassava. But poor farmers remain vulnerable to unpredictable weather patterns. Zimbabwe enjoys benefits of cultivating drought-resistant crops. Across much of sub-Saharan Africa, where maize is the most common staple crop, production is almost completely rain-fed. That's made farmers highly susceptible to effects of adverse weather conditions. Zimbabwe, however, is beginning to see positive results towards attaining food security after embracing the breeding, production, and use of drought-tolerant maize seed varieties. Number six is desert turns into oasis. Man plants 50,000 trees in 15 years in North China. One of the many problems China is facing now is its own vast desert area. They are trying hard with all possible ways using important resources they have to combat desertification. And one of the best practices they have been doing until now to fight desertification is through planting drought-resistant trees. Chinese man plants 50,000 trees in 15 years, turning barren land into the edge of China's third largest desert into an oasis. That's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.